I got a diagnosis of stage four cancer about a year and two months ago. And <sighs> needless to say, it was a very hard thing to accept. And I had a really dark night of the soul. And after I kind of came out of that, I said, I do not want to go there ever again. And I kicked my Dr. Joe Dispenza teachings into high gear because I knew this was the time. And I knew just from experience that everything he said and taught made so much sense to me. So I s had a very clear intention that I was healed. And I kept very elevated emotions. Like I always tried to stay joyful and feel grateful and keep my heart open. And a cancer diagnosis will bring you straight to your knees and you suddenly, life is so precious and you want to just enjoy every moment and everything becomes precious. Every sunrise, every morsel of food just becomes more delicious. And as I focused in on the, the generous present moment and my heart opened and miracles started to happen. I had a doctor who really didn't do the right thing by me and I ended up getting into stage four when I first was just a stage 1A breast cancer. So miraculously, after I had opened up my heart, I found a brand new doctor and she had a fire in her eyes to heal me. She said, you're young, you're healthy. We're gonna do some hardcore strong chemo. We're gonna get, um, get you a double mastectomy and radiation and I did all the, um, you know, the typical treatment plan, but in the meantime, I did Dr. Joe's, I saw all of his videos, I bought his progressive workshops and I watched all of those. And one video really made a lot of sense to me. And he suggested to make a chart like this with your, your conditions of your intentions on the left-hand side and your feelings on the right-hand side. And if you can see this chart is has coffee on it and it's all wrinkled, but this was what I held closest to my heart. And the feelings that I wanted to feel were freedom. I wanted to feel awe-filled. I wanted to feel gratitude. I wanted to feel deep sigh of relief and joy. And in, uh, I wanted to enjoy all the little things in life. I wanted to feel blessed and magnificent and unlimited and just the joy for life. And I kept my feelings, I kept my thought on that. I claimed my healing. I never gave up. I never, ever gave up. And just a few weeks ago, I got a, I, I had a, a PET scan and I'm cancer free. And yesterday in the advanced workshop, he was teaching about the box meditation. And I really think that's what I had done. I had put my vision of who I was going to be, my future self, in a box, and I drew her to me with my heart. I fell in love with this future person. I drew her to me, and I just became who I was, and I really attribute that to my healing. I will forever be grateful, and I just finished a week-long um, week advanced retreat, and it totally changed my life and solidified all of my understandings and I want to go forward and do this and help other people to do the same thing and to heal.